Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn about Git, what it is and how it can help you with your front-end development workflow. But before we do that, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Before we go into VS Code and Terminal, let's firstly talk about what is Git and why is it useful. It is a distributed version control system, which means that there is a remote repository and then there is also local clone of these repositories. Okay, so that is, that's why it's called distributed. I'll talk about it more in a minute. It's free to install on any computer. So whether you are on a Mac, Windows or Linux, you can still install it. It's free, which makes it always good. It's small and fast. And the feature that I like really the best on Git is the branching system. Okay, so it's quick and cheap. It doesn't copy all your files. It only keeps track of all the changes you make. And then you can navigate through the history and see how the project evolved. Okay, it's easy to learn. And if using VS Code, then there is out of the box integration already set up. How does the distributed version control system work? It's pretty simple. There is a remote repository on the server. This could be your GitHub or Bitbucket repo. And then you will clone it on your own local. You will make a clone of the repository and using the Git commands pull and push, you can pull the latest changes and push your changes back to the server. And others can again clone this repo and pull and push the changes to their computer as well. Okay, so that's why it's called distributed because everyone has the clone of this repo on their own computer. And the opposite of distributed version control would be something called centralized version control. Installing Git is pretty straightforward. Just go to the link, click on the downloads button and follow the prompts. Click on the Windows section if you are on Windows. And if you are installing on Mac, you might come across this notification. You will need to go to the settings of your Mac and click on the open anyway just to make sure that this gets opened and then just follow the prompts to complete the installation. To check whether you have Git installed already, just go to any terminal and type in git hyphen hyphen version and this should print out the version of your Git installation. If you've completed the installation correctly, you should see a version. If you didn't, then something went wrong. So maybe repeat it again. And then you might also need to add your settings, your name and email into the global config. Okay, so type in git config global list. Make sure that the username and email is filled in. This will be used for attributing all the work, all the commits to this username or name and email. Make sure these are up to date. If you want to change the name, for example, you will type in git config global user.name and add your name and you do the same thing for your email. Okay, type in your email at gmail.com and these two will be now saved into the global config. I've already done it, so I will not do it now. Now you should have everything ready to be able to explore Git and learn all the cool commands. And that's exactly what we will be doing in the following videos. And that's it all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this quick introduction to Git. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video where we will be exploring Git even in more detail. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.